Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to script faster in Roblox Studio. So this is going to be pretty simple, um, I, yeah, pretty simple methods. I'm going to go over two methods with you guys, then I'll go over some basic tips and what I do to script faster. And really, actually, this is scripting faster in really any language, but obviously I'm relating it back to Roblox Studio because that's what this channel is mainly about. But yeah, anyways, this is basically how you can write code faster and script faster so you can save yourself time and do more stuff in the long run. So yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and start. All right, so first things first, here's a quick disclaimer slash warning about wanting to script f slash code fast, okay? Um, if you want to speed up the process of scripting, you're probably going to become a little bit less efficient, all right? And that means your, your code's probably going to have a little bit more bugs and you because you're trying to rush through stuff, and uh, it, it's more likely to end up missing things here and there. And like I said, it, it's just... It's you're, you're gonna end up missing stuff because you're rushing through it, right? Um, but maybe not. Maybe maybe not. It, there's there's a chance, but also maybe not. Maybe you can do it efficiently, which some people definitely can. Um, but yeah. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and start. All right. So um, there are two methods I'm gonna explain right now, and then I'm gonna go into some basic tips. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna break down two methods of writing code faster, and one of them, oh yeah, yeah, one of them may work better for you than the other. Okay, so make sure to try each of these like both. Okay, because uh, sometimes one can work for one person, and then the other won't work for that person. But you know that one will work for this person. You know what I'm saying? So definitely try both for, uh, both methods, I guess, and see which one works best for you because it's different for each person. I think um, at least it is for me. I know because I know some people who work some way and, and then I work the opposite, right? So yeah. Um, also, I'll go over some basic tips and then also the last tip will save you hours. Okay, um, it's what I personally do to, to um, save myself a lot of time. But yeah. Um, it saved me plenty, plenty of hours. <laughs> okay, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, keep going. All right, so the first method, okay? Now, um, plan, then write, okay? So yeah, like I said here, it's kind of in the name, but basically, in, in this method of writing code faster, right, um, what you're doing is, you're gonna think about like what you want to accomplish, okay? Think about the goal of your of your script you're about to make, right? So think about it, okay? Um, I want to do this, and I'm, I'm gonna show you an example here in a second. But think about what you want to accomplish and plan it out, and then do it, okay? So for example, let's say we want to create a button, okay? That gives us points each time we click it, all right? So we have a button that gives us points each time we click it. So what we're what you're gonna do is write something called pseudo code, okay? Which is basically fake code. That will give you like an outline of what you want to do. You actually may have heard this before. Um, I, I know people who do do it. Personally, I don't. It doesn't work that well for me. I feel like it's kind of a waste of time. Um, but like, like, I, like I said, guys, because like when people are writing code, what happens a lot is they just get like a mental block, right? So they, they slow down and they don't write code very fast because they have to think for so long. But if you write it out in like fake code and like just kind of like picture it in your head first, it'll actually make it a lot easier to translate it into actual Lua um, and like real code than just... Um, writing it directly and like I said guys this works for different people different ways okay for me personally it's not my way to go but for you it may be so definitely try it out I, I honestly it, it seriously does uh, work for some people but yeah also guys remember the goal is to write you know write code faster so um, like I said this is you know it helps you have brain fog and mental blocks so you don't think about what you're writing it so yeah like I said this one might work better for you than the other but let me show you what I mean right here all right so um, so here's an example for method one right so here's a pseudo code for the button that gives you the um, a point when you click it. Um, pretty simple example, but bigger task can actually help you. Yeah. All right. So as you can see here, this is this is the quote unquote pseudo code. So it's not real code. It's just like fake code. Oh wow, that that car is loud. Okay. All right. It's <laughs> it's fake code that basically it, it's just like you demonstrate it in your head first, and then you translate it into actual real code. So first, for example, we know that we want a button. Okay, and we want it to give us points each time we click it. So we'll just do if button is clicked, then add one to points. Pretty simple, right? And we also know that we need a click detector. So yeah, that's it. That's that's the pseudocode right there. So you just kind of picture in your head. Everyone's pseudocode will be different. However you want to write it, you can. Um, but like I said, this is how I wrote it. So if button is clicked, then add one to points. Now obviously this isn't real code, but this is kind of how I'm picturing it in my head. All right, and then I translate it into real code. So I have the button here. Uh, this is the button, which is equal to script up here because I put the script in the um, thing. And then I did button.mouse click, and then it was actually an event you have to use, but um, connect function. Um, and then the function here basically just adds one point to each player's points. Pretty simple. That's what I basically did here. And like I said, guys, this helps you out with some people. I know this may seem pretty simple, but for a bigger task, I'm telling you, this can actually really help you out. So definitely try it, um, see if it works for you. Like I said, everyone everyone works differently in different ways and 
try it for yourself first. But for bigger tasks, guys, seriously, it, it's beneficial. That's all I want to say. All right, so yeah. All right, so um, let's go to method number two. All right, so method number two is <laughs> just go, okay? <laughs> start, it's, it's pretty much the opposite of method number one, but just start coding immediately, okay? Like, don't even think about it. So, like, remember, like, guys, the, the goal is to write code faster, okay? So, um, if the goal is to write code faster, then you don't want to waste time planning out, right? Um, but that's what method one is. Like I said, it works better for some people. Like I said, it works better for some people, and it doesn't work for some people. But like I said, all right, anyways, so yeah, just go, okay? Just start writing the code right away. Like, you can think about it a little bit, obviously, but just just dive right into it, go right into it, dive head first, right? Um, uh, it, it, it works, okay? For some people, like I said. So, the, you know, pseudocode may work for you, but this may work for you too. Just going right into it and don't think too hard about it. Because if you think too hard about it, what, you, what you'll do is start overthinking it, actually. And I know it's kind of weird, it's kind of a weird topic to talk about, but you start overthinking it and it's just like weird. Like I said guys, you got to try you got to try both methods for yourself and you'll see what I mean after this. Um but yeah. Um everyone is better in different ways, so just start both. But yeah, method number 2 basically is just start coding immediately. Okay, just immediately. All right, so I have one more tip and then I'll explain my biggest actually ever tip because I have a really big tip going up. All right, anyways. So, um also, one last tip, obviously, is just reuse your code. You don't need to waste time writing the leader stats script every time you want to make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to waste time doing, you know, player dot player dot added, um, you know, connect function player, uh, you know, local full or local leader stats. You go to instance on new folder. You know, I, I literally can write cited off my head. I've done it so many times. Um, now that's something like that is pretty simple, but um. Like I said, guys, if you just reuse your old code, which you definitely can for a lot of things, then it'll save you a lot of time too. Um, I like whenever I, I make something, I always look back at my last time I did it, and I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and go back to my last time I did it, because that way I can just like copy, sort of copy and paste it if I can, and then I don't, I don't have to waste time writing all that code again, you know? Because we're trying to be as time efficient as possible, right? We're trying to save time so we can do more. Um, so yeah, so yeah, just re reuse your old code. That's a big tip. Um, pretty simple, but it does work. So yeah. All right. So now for the moment you've all been waiting for, okay? This is the biggest way that I've personally saved time writing code. Now, it may seem a little cheeky, but it is true, guys. I'm telling you, this, this it literally saved me so much time, okay? Just, oh, okay, all right, anyways. All right, so here it is, here it is. Okay, so basically, how do I write code faster? Personally, I don't use the pseudocode method. Like I said, it's not for everyone. But anyways, when I first start to script something, here's what I do, okay? Um, let's say, for example, I wanted to script a, um, um, I don't know, like a kill feed or something like that, like a mini-map, right? Um, I want a mini-map, okay? So I think in my mind what I want, okay, let's say I want a mini-map, that's step one, and I don't like to redo it. Look, the odds are somebody else has probably wanted to make a mini-map too, right? Why waste time making a mini-map from scratch when someone else has already done it too? So what I like to do actually is just look up to see what people have done, look up to see if people have trouble with it, and I'll, I'll learn from them, right? I'll just, I, there's no point in reinventing the wheel, quote unquote, um, because that's what you're doing basically. Um, there's no point in, re, in redoing it. Like I said, if, if, it, if the way that someone else is doing it doesn't look like how you want to do it, then don't listen to them. By, by all means, don't listen to them. Make it yourself, right? But I'm saying if somebody else has already done what you're trying to do, you might as well take inspiration from them and just save time by learning from them. You get what I'm saying? There's no point wasting time we can all help each other out here. Like seriously, just it's that simple, really. Just if someone else has already done, if if you're if you're doing something, look it up, Google it, find so, if someone that's already done it. If they if no one's done it, wow, it's kind of rare to be honest. People have done pretty much everything, uh, at least on Roblox Studio, right? Um, but if no one's done it, well then you can make it yourself. But like I said, if someone has, which someone probably has, then just learn from them. Just understand what they did, what they did wrong, uh, what you don't like about it. Change what you don't what you don't want. Change what you do like. Um, but like I said, don't copy them. Definitely don't just copy them. But you learn from them and understand what they're doing, and then implement it into your own code. That way you don't have to th waste time thinking about how to do it. You know what I'm saying? You don't think about all the functions you have to do. You don't think about all the if statements, all, all this stuff. There's just no point in wasting time doing that. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, maybe when you're first learning off and you're first learning, maybe it's good to write your own stuff. But like seriously, guys, I, I, what I would do and what I do do is just look it up immediately. There's no point wasting any time. I'm a very time efficient guy. I like I like to save my time and I like to maximize maximize my time too. So just skip right into it. Okay, it's that simple. Um, but yeah, so yeah, pretty simple like that. Just don't waste time. If someone else has already done it, you might as well learn from them. Might as well. All right. Anyways, so that's pretty much it, guys. Don't get it too complicated. That is how you do it. That's how you write code faster. That's the methods that I use, methods that other people use as well. And 
that's it. Just go out there, start scripting, guys. Have fun. Remember, guys, also, everything doesn't have to be rushed all the time. Um, you know what you know what they say, like good things take time. So be sure to you know, leave a like if it's if, leave a like if it's helped you out and uh, it lets me know that you like this video. And also make sure to subscribe and post notifications on so you can see more videos like this in the future. I make awesome a lot of awesome like Roblox informative uh, development videos just like this one. So leave a like if you did enjoy this and you'll see more like this in the future. And subscribe. Anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if this helps you out in the comments below. I'm very curious to know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, be sure to join the Discord server. The link is in the description below as well. You can meet a lot of people in there. It's super cool. All right, peace, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.